Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. My October Art Snacks box is here. This is the regular box, the basic tier. Just like last time, what we're gonna do is, regardless of what's in here, whether or not it suits the whole Inktober thing, this will fulfill the Inktober prompt for today, October 19th. Once I open this, find out what's in it, I am going to then pause, look up what was in the plus box, and we will no box art box style upgrade this to plus. I have tried my best not to spoil what is in it, I'm going to be doing that with all six of these boxes I get. There's four more left to come. I did see a teaser in an Art Snacks email. I don't know if it's this box or the box that's coming after it. But other than that, I have no idea what's in here. Let's find out. Menu card. Candy. Ooh, it's in a box. I think it is the thing that I saw. We shall see. Ooh. Yes, yes it is what I saw. Liquitex. Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink, 30 milliliters. This is a naphthol red light, made in France. Interesting, let's take a closer look. Good news, of course, this will absolutely work for fulfilling an Inktober prompt today. Excellent, and red, maybe I'll try to go creepy. What's in this package? Hey, I didn't, I didn't get a sticker. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so the sticker got wrapped up in the roll and it's kind of distorted. That's okay. Ooh, creepy. Look at that. Skulls on the sticker for October for spooky Halloween month. So we have a lovely professional Winsor Newton watercolor brush. This is synthetic sable. It is a round size zero. Very nice. I do really like Winsor Newton watercolor brushes. I've only had the Cotman, the student line, so it'll be interesting to see if this is better or not. We have a 2B lead Mitsubishi pencil. Ooh, lovely. Okay. Obviously, that means I have to sharpen it in my Mitsubishi sharpener. Let's do that, actually. I love that sharpener. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we have a paint marker. I'm gonna guess acrylic ink. Acrylic paint. Uh, I will read the menu card in somewhat planned out voiceover in just a minute. So this is called a manga liner and uh, if we're going by the cap it's gold. Other than that there isn't really a whole lot of other English written on here so I guess we'll get more information from the card. Ooh, interesting, interesting. That, that's not the s normal spongy nib I'm used to seeing in a paint marker. Huh. One moment while I look up what is in the plus box. Okay, so here we go with the plus box on the Art Snacks shop website. You can go ahead and order it for yourself if you want to. The bonus items that were sent just to the plus customers, there is a nine by 12 pad of Lennox cotton paper by Legion Paper Company. To replace that, I am going to use this Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press watercolor paper. This is also by Legion so I figured that was the most appropriate replacement. The Lennox cotton is 250 GSM. This is 300 GSM. And obviously this is not a nine by 12. I believe this came in a scrawler box. This is five by seven. Other than that, it's a very similar paper. It's made by the same parent mill, so. I figure that's a good substitution. The other art supply item that was sent to Plus customers was a six pack of fine liners by King Art. This is what the King Art pens look like. This is the library. This is a brush pen and there is no brush pen in the six pack that they sent, so I won't be using it. I really like it though, it is a very nice brush pen. The The brush tip reminds me of the Pentel Sign pens. To replace it, the only pens that I have where I currently have all of the correct sizes in the same line is my Sakura Pigma Microns, so this is what we'll be using. The pack includes the 005, 01020305, and 08. Those all represent the size of line that they will put down in millimeters. The nibs are slightly smaller, that's just how ink works. These are your traditional 
Japanese metal clad style fine liners. All right, let's read that card while I swatch. I am not going to swatch on the Stonehenge paper because that would be a waste. I don't have many sheets left. First on the menu card for the regular tier Art Snacks October 2021 menu is the Kuratake Zig Higashiyama Manga Liner. So that's what this is. It is made by Kuratake. Amazing. I love that company. These retail for $4 US. Everybody was sent a randomized color. I do suspect every Everybody got a metallic color, so if not gold, probably silver or some other metallic. Draw on any surface imaginable with the Kuratake Zig Higashiyama Manga Liner. The vivid metallic cover is extremely opaque and waterproof when dry. It's also easy to create intricate designs with this pen, thanks to its fine nib. Yes, indeed, it is waterproof once dry. It didn't take long to dry, just by the time I swatched everything else, it was dry enough to be waterproof. I've never seen a paint pen quite like this before with this type of nib. I was very surprised by that completely hard, rigid, tapered nib. It seems like a great pen. I, I do wish it didn't put lines in the paper so easy, but I guess like you got to expect that with a hard nib. Interesting that it says you can draw on any surface imaginable. I do expect the hard nib helps with that. Next up, the Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink retails for $7.99 US. By the way, as per usual, I will have all of these items listed in the description box down below, and I will have the retail prices converted to Canadian dollars and pound sterling. I will also look up prices in the wild if you were to try to buy these from major online retailers in all of those three currency regions. And then I will do the math to tell you what the box costs. RRP minus what you're paying at the different subscription tiers. Real world total minus what you're paying. So you can figure out if this box would have been worth it for you. The regular, the plus, depending on where you're subscribing from, how many months you're prepaying. So yes, the Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink. Experience pure permanent color with Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink. No dyes or fading here. Extremely fluid and waterproof, this ink dries quickly to a satin finish. High light fastness and permanence means your illustrations will last a lifetime. 20 new hues have been recently added to the color range. Which one did you get? I already read it, but I got Naphthol Red Light. It is a beautiful shade. I'm a little disappointed to say it's very close to the one of two other acrylic inks I already own. My other acrylic inks are both De La Rone FW inks and one is white and the other one is Flame Red. Very close, that's a little disappointing. This ink is much thinner, flows much easier than the FW ink. If I hadn't read that this was an acrylic ink, I would not assume it was an acrylic ink. It goes down feeling very much like an India ink. It definitely reminded me of my Dr. P.H. Martin's India inks. Very much looking forward to working with this in this piece and probably into the future. I love it when I receive a light fast item because, you know, if, if you end up doing commissions, you want them to last. This does have an ASTM light fastness rating of one. They are one of the systems that goes golf rules. The smaller the rating, the better it is. So this is seven or eight on the blue wool scale. That means in museum display conditions, it's going to last over a hundred years. Moving on, Windsor Newton Professional Watercolor Synthetic Sable Brush. Retail price, they gave a range, $12.59 to $17.29 US. I'm assuming that that means that different boxes got different sizes and types. I'm very glad that I got a round and that it's a small one because that is what I, that's what I end up reaching for, what I lean towards when I'm painting in watercolor. It is Mark's staff favorite, and the card says, after rigorous testing, Windsor Newton has created the best blend of synthetic bristles to mimic natural sable hair. This unique blend allows color to flow evenly and consistently, producing flowing brush strokes. From its ergonomic handle to its excellent color carrying capacity, this brush is truly innovative. Well, so far I do like it. I love the uh, curvy shape of the handle. It makes it very easy to either hold very, very close close, choking up on the ferrule like I do sometimes, or if I'm not going to, if I'm going to try to hold it farther back and lengthen for finer lines, softer touch, the curves 
automatically put my hand halfway to two thirds of the way back down the brush handle. It's very comfortable, it's very ergonomic, and it automatically puts my hand in the best place on the handle. That's just not something a lot of other watercolor brushes do. As I'm recording this voiceover part, I'm now holding one of my Curry's store brand synthetic sables, and it bulges close to the ferrule and then it tapers down to just a straight. So like, y you almost want to hold right on the ferrule because there's no other dippy spot that's comfortable on your hand. This handle is amazing. It's also that really nice smooth satin finish like a lot of the Princeton brushes. I just, I love it. I'm already in love with this brush. You guys, it just took me far too long to find the menu card again. I knocked it off the desk when I was playing with the paint brushes and it slotted itself between other papers. I'm not kidding. Moving on. <laughs> Mitsubishi High Uni Pencil. This retails for $2.75 US. Pencil lovers, this one's for you. Widely considered one of the best pencils around, the Mitsubishi High Uni is beautiful inside and out. The graphite core is exceptionally smooth, resulting in rich, even lines, while the cedar body is coated in a glossy burgundy lacquer. It is indeed a beautiful pencil. I'm, I'm not one to get super excited about graphite pencils, which you've probably figured out if you've been around my channel a lot. It does seem like a very nice pencil for a 2B. Well, it seems kind of soft for a 2B, honestly, but it seems very nice in terms of a generic artist quality graphite pencil. As for those plus items that you would have actually got if you had subscribed to the plus box, King Art Inkline Fine Line Ink Pens Black Set of Six retails for $16.99 US. Whether you're jotting down quick sketches on the go or creating a masterpiece, King Art Inkline Pens won't let you down. Say goodbye to smudging and smearing. These reliable fine liners feature archival, waterproof ink, and durable tips. They glide smoothly across paper with no skips, blots, or feathering. Each pen in this set is filled with rich black ink. This set includes six different nib sizes, 005, 01, 02, 03, 05, and 08. Again, I'm using my Sakura Pigma Micron set in the same sizes, and they are also a an archival waterproof ink. They're a pigment-based ink and yeah, pretty much the same thing. The Lennox cotton paper that would have been in the actual plus box. Lennox cotton paper pad by Legion Paper. Retails for $24.80 US. Made in the USA, Lennox paper is 100% cotton and works wonderfully across a range of fine art applications. Designed to withstand both delicate and bold impressions, this 250 GSM paper is sturdy and absorbent. You'll find 15 sheets in this pad, each featuring an off-white shade of medium textured surface, size 9 by 12. So for the Inktober prompt of loop, I really wasn't sure what to draw where I could use these colors, and then I thought like let's let's really stretch what loop means. And I started thinking what sort of media do I put on loop? And recently it's been the song One Foot by Fun. Not sure if you remember Fun, they're the guys who did this. What do I stand for? And this. But I just, I really like this song. It's it's a weird song. It definitely has like a marching band kind of feel to it. But the more I listen to the lyrics, the more I really like it. Uh, warning if you're not supportive of LGBTQIA stuff, maybe don't go listen to that song. It's very pro that and very criticizing of religious groups who stand against it. So yeah, if that's not your jam, don't go listen to it. Maybe do, maybe challenge things, but fair warning. The music video for this one, it's, it's a lyric video, but they filmed it in a very creative way where the lyrics are on things that they are walking past and it starts off where whichever guy, I believe it's the drummer, starts out. He's putting on these Converse shoes that have a bunch of the lyrics on the shoe and they've sped up the footage so that each side of the shoe is only visible for the time it takes for Nate to actually sing that part. So this is the first set of lyrics you hear. I'm standing in Brooklyn just waiting for something to happen. I can't help but look thinking that everyone does 
doesn't get it. The lyrics written on the shoes are done in this very messy, bold marker style, and the poor spacing here isn't poor planning on my part. It is poorly spaced on the shoes of the music video as well. I kind of realized halfway through the day must not have been a brand name 70s style Converse shoe because it didn't quite fit the same after I got all the lacing in, but it's a similar shoe to this. <laughs> it is this kind of shoe. It, that shoe does have the red and the black stripe, but then of course it has silver hardware and I had to use the gold pin, so we went with gold for all of the grommets. My opinion on the splice hasn't changed since the part where I read the card to you while I was swatching. I really like these pens. I'm very excited to have this Liquitex acrylic ink. I'm very glad I got the chance to try this. Now I know if I'm in the market for acrylic inks in the future, this is definitely the brand that I will go with. Always happy to have another Kuratake product. Even though I generally don't use paint pens all that often, this is a very unique pen. I'm definitely glad to have it. It's a lot of fun to work with. Maybe I'll trot it out again in the future when I need some metallic details. If you got this box for real, either the regular tier or the plus, tell me what did you think of it, which colors did you get, and what did you draw? And if you are doing the official October list this year, tell me what you did for Loop. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe, and if you like Live and Live Creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys!